and I'm going to be asking you some of the same questions. This is June Kent, and I'm Maury Miller, and I'm speaking with Richard Gustafson. So first of all, where and when were you born? I was born in Bloomington, Illinois, uh, November 28, 1957. Uh, lived there, gosh, I don't even remember, I was just a little guy. Uh, Dad moved us to Mattoon uh, very shortly after I was born. Lived there until I was in the second grade and then moved to Marshall. Okay. And who were your parents? Uh, Roland Gustafson and Marjorie Gustafson. Okay. Do you have brothers and sisters? Two brothers, uh, Mike and Bob. Okay. So when did you come to Marshall? Uh, gosh, I was in the second grade. I can't even tell you when, what year that would have been. Uh, yeah, sometime in the 60s, I suppose. Okay. Early 60s, yeah. okay. And where did you live? I live uh, south of Marshall on Grand Turn Road. Okay. And, and that, how would you describe that neighborhood? Um, since I've lived there, of course, uh, I lived there after my wife and I moved down. Uh, she grew up there. Um, people up and down the road are, are very friendly. Uh, we have a good relationship with our neighbors. Uh, people kind of look out for each other. Just recently, we found a stray dog. and. Uh, of course, we got all over the internet and found out who the dog belonged to and got it returned. So people kind of tend to try to help each other. Okay, okay. Well, let's talk about your childhood. Uh, what kinds of things do you remember doing? Uh, my dad worked pretty hard, and we lived at Clarksville, uh, way out in the country. And uh, we uh, kind of just tended to stay to ourselves. We had some livestock for 4 H, kind of a little gentleman's farm. Uh, dad mostly did book work. For his living, and when he came home, we we were outside constantly. And uh, I grew up kind of running around the woods and fishing, and didn't have too many friends at the time. We lived too far away from town and too far away from other neighbors. But uh, I enjoyed my my childhood. Okay. Do you have hobbies? Uh, fishing. Uh, I played the trumpet for gosh ever, forever. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I guess. Okay. Well, then did you have a pet? We always had dogs. Uh, as long as I can remember, there was always a dog around, and, and uh, our dogs kind of end up being like family to us. We, we really enjoy them. Well, well, talk about your family. What family activities come to mind? You mostly working. <laughs> yeah, mostly we, working. We, we did. Uh, my brothers and I played some games. We, you know, we played Monopoly, and we had what they uh, carrom's board, I guess it was. Uh, we played that quite a bit. Um, Mostly we just, uh, we did a lot of outside stuff. Uh, we went fishing a lot and just messed around outside. Okay. Do you remember neighborhood activities, church, get-togethers? I, I didn't grow up in church. I uh, didn't start going to church until I married my wife. Uh, uh, we just, you know, we just didn't really do much with the neighbors. Okay, so. okay. okay. Where did you go to school? I went to Marshall uh, from second grade on. And what special school memories do you have? Uh, my favorite memories were being in band. Uh, okay. Again, Jim Gwynn, the band director, was probably my favorite teacher. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Okay. Well, Garth has talked about this, but talk about how you met your wife and when you got married. Well, <laughs> as she said, uh, uh, we met in the band room. Uh, I used to go in and, and help with the younger students, which I still do to this day. I volunteer at the school uh, quite a bit, giving student trump students trumpet lessons. Uh, but that's how we met. Uh, I would go in and play, and I guess we kind of got interested in each other, and uh, uh, we knew each other for quite a few years before we ended up getting married. But uh, you know, we kind of had the same mindset, I guess. Okay. Have you always lived in Marshall? Uh, ever since second grade, I've never, never okay. moved away. Okay. Um, well, talk about jobs that you've had. Uh, I guess my earliest jobs. I grew up helping farmers in the neighborhood uh, bail hay and drive tractors and things like that. And then uh, as I got older, I got a job and actually worked at Supermet, which was a, a small business here in town that made powdered metal products. Um, didn't last very long there. Somebody offered me a job taking care of hogs, and I was back out pretty quick. Uh, so that was Gene Lindley, actually, down at West Union, offered me that job, and that got me out of the factory. From there, I went to Welsh Farms, where I uh, co-managed a 500-child hog operation. Uh, and from there, my wife convinced me I needed to go to horseshoeing school, and I made my living the rest of my life shoeing horses. 
How long have you been doing that? 31 years. Oh, wow. 32, 32 years. Okay. And so you're still doing that? Uh, I'm on disability now, but I still poke around, trim a few. I smoke customers and friends that I couldn't give up. I take care of their horses still. <laughs> Well, let's talk again. Talk about as you think about the the total of your life. What person or event have been major events influences in your life? Uh, I would have to say mostly my dad. Uh, his work ethic, the effort he put forth into his job, uh, probably has made more of an impact on me than anything else. Uh, I did have teachers I enjoyed, Mr. Gwynn, uh, being foremost among those. Uh, and I guess that was just because I really enjoyed doing what we did with Mr. Gwynn. But, uh, yeah, mostly my dad. The, the way he worked, uh, uh, that's always kind of stuck with me. Okay. Okay. Uh, as, again, as you think back over the, the totality of your life, what historical events stand out most in your mind? The earliest things I can remember that really stuck were the assassinations, like of uh, President Kennedy and then his brother and then Martin Luther King. It just seemed like there was a whole era there where people were getting assassinated and it's kind of scary uh, and then of course the moon landing and uh, those kind of things stick out the various wars Vietnam and, and uh, you know that, that stuff kind of makes you fearful for what's going to happen in the world I suppose but uh, okay another kind of general question is you think about all the inventions of things that have happened what modern conveniences affect your love, my life most you think well, I've never really been too into computers, so they haven't affected me other than what everybody else does with them. Uh, cell phones, however, I was one of the first guys in the area to have a, a phone installed in my truck uh, for my business. Um, and for business purposes, fantastic, but it is, I feel like, kind of ruining society. <laughs> you can't get away from it. You can't get away from it. Yeah, okay. And let me ask you also, if you were talking to somebody who wasn't from Marshall, how would you describe Marshall and tell why were you why you live here? Um, it, it's a it's a clean, nice town. People are friendly. We have a great school system here. People move, people that that work in other cities around want to live in Marshall just because of the school system. Um, it's it's just a nice town. Uh, I, I can't imagine living anywhere else. Okay. Well, thank you, Richard. This has been very interesting, and people will uh, really 